Hi everyone. Guess what I've discovered. You have to excuse my glasses. But I've discovered that I do not need to film on my, what is it? It's a Sony Handycam. Apparently I can use it as a webcam. So gone will be my clicky bar. And in comes the mouse. I think it's incredible. I know simple things please simple people. But I have just suddenly discovered that it will cut down half the time. And seeing it is five, five past one. Why do I do that? It's on the computer. Ten past one in the morning. And I have a hospital appointment first thing in the morning. I want to do this. Then you can, don't see the things. Do you think I can ask you, those of you who pray, will you pray for me tomorrow? Because I've got to go and see the specialist. Tell you what, let's take these damn things off. That's better. I've got to go and see the specialist and it's to do with the trigeminal neuralgia which is to do with the nerve in the brain. Um, I know I've come to the end of the road really um, as regards to medication and really I need, dare I say it, a brain operation. Now, the family is, decide, is divided, or decided, um, some think I should have it, and some think I shouldn't. Excuse me, that's because I've had a, a bit of something to eat. Um, I have had TIAs, which is trans ischemic attacks which are basically little strokes mini strokes and so if I have a brain operation I could have a big stroke anyway will you please pray for me those of you which pray that I make the right decision and that the doctor counsels me correctly Right, now that's out of the way, so that's clicky bear gone, brain, that's been gone a long time. You know how everyone's asking questions at the moment? Well, I just thought I'd ask one. Um, it's on my mind a lot at the moment. Um, I'm, I keep thinking back to when I was a child um, I don't know, excuse me dog, don't jump up, thank you I don't know that I had a very happy childhood really, I mean I had a wonderful mum but that's not what I want to talk about I want us to answer just one question what is one thing that you can remember from your childhood that brings you pleasure. Now it just so happens that I've had our John on the phone. John, 29, um, he's autistic um, and he's suddenly really sad because he says he's not clever and that he's forgotten everything he ever learnt. And um, so you can pray for him too. But we had a really good natter and I said to him, what's the one thing you can remember of your childhood? That was nice. Well, because he was autistic and we didn't know he was, we just knew there was something the matter. He didn't really have a happy childhood. He, he was a very unhappy lad. But he suddenly remembered 
go into the corner shop when he'd come back from school and getting some lollies. They used to make these ice lollies in little plastic cups, 10 pence. And uh, he ended up having all his teeth out because of that. Well, he had all, never mind, but he had teeth out. <clears throat> and so that was his memory. Buying these lollies on the corner shop. And, uh, and my memory is coming home from school and it always appeared to be in the dark because I went to school um, about 11 miles away from home and well, not probably more, anyway, more than that, but up with the buses and etc. But <clears throat> one thing I can remember more than anything is coming home and Mummy always had a big fire made for us and we had a coal fire. So I'd walk in and the light would be on and the big coal fire and I'd have mince and mash. Probably not mince meat and mashed potatoes. Probably not every day. But I can remember this meal. But it was the fire more than anything else. You know, we didn't have um, a lot of money or anything, but the one thing my father never skimped on was the coal. And he always used to build up the fire. He used to sit for ages in front of the fire, putting all these pieces of coal in and making a roaring fire. And... Uh, Whereas my husband always used to say, oh, you don't want that amount of coal on the fire. <laughs> so that was my memory. Coming home on a cold day and finding a really roaring fire and a nice meal. So what's your nice memory? Okay, you tell me. Now, I've got to find my mouse now. Oh, and I'm going to have to put my glasses back on. Another thing that some of you will be thrilled to find out is now I can do it this way, I can also time myself. I can put a limit on. So I won't have to go for so long. Anyway, this is only a short one. Seven minutes. So I'm going to turn it off now. So I'm going to say thanks for listening to you, to me. Oh, I listen to you enough times, and thank you for praying. Thank you for all your support. And all being well, I see you tomorrow night. Okay, bye and God bless you. Bye.